And good evening. I'm political editor Dennis Welch. This is Politics Unplugged, and transportation in Maricopa County is funded by a half-cent sales tax known as Prop 400. It is set to expire at the end of next year, and efforts to renew the tax are at a stalemate at the state capitol. Now, Valley leaders are wondering if it's time to take a look at Plan B to keep their projects going. Now, here to talk about all of that is Mesa Mayor John Giles. Thank you very much for being here. And it is hard to overstate how important Proposition 400 has been. Originally passed back in 1985, renewed in 2004. Um, again, it's set to expire next year. But you know, in the time it's been in place, it has helped fund all the major, you know, transportation projects that, you know, Valley residents just take for granted today, you know, Loop 101, 202, 303, all of that kind of stuff. Why has this hit a stalemate um, this year? I mean, why did Governor Ducey, you know, veto it last year? Why is that a stalemate this year? Well, you're exactly right, Dennis. It really is very difficult to overstate the, the importance of transportation infrastructure funding in Maricopa County. Mm -hmm. We are all uh, enjoying a, a very much above average transportation system in Maricopa County. Whenever I travel, I, uh, and I compare where, what I see in other, in other cities and other regions to, to Maricopa County, we, uh, we look very good. And as a result of that, we've had tremendous uh, economic success in, in terms of bringing new companies and events to Maricopa County. You can't name one of those in the last 30 years. It's not directly tied to this, infra this infrastructure investment. So uh, this is an existing half cent sales tax that's been in place in Maricopa County for uh, right now ending 20 years, but before that another 20 years. So this is not a, a, an extent or a, a increase in taxes. This is not a new tax. This is just keeping the funding source in place. Yeah, and this isn't up to the legislature. It's just to put it on the ballot for the voters Correct. to decide yet again on a tax that has been approved twice by voters in the past. I think that's that's key there. This isn't the lawmaker, lawmakers saying we're going to raise taxes on it. Right, and, and it has public support. Whenever this is whenever this is polled and people are asked, is it worth it to you to pay a half cent sales tax to have the type of transportation infrastructure that we have, it, it passes overwhelmingly. So getting this to the voters uh, is the problem, not getting the voter support. Now, there are two plans uh, in, in the Capitol right now. It's kind of two competing plans out there, but neither of them really uh, put any money aside for right. light rail expansion or any money aside for light rail expansion. Um, as uh, mayor of one of the biggest cities in Arizona, who's seen the effects of light rail, I mean, what it's done to the downtown in Mesa, I encourage anybody who hasn't been downtown for a while to go check it out. It is a lot different. Um, <laughs> How important is getting more funding for light rail to expand light rail for you and for other mayors you're talking to? Well, in order to, it, we worked very hard on this plan. It's a multimodal plan. It, it's, it's heavily weighted in favor of freeways and, and roads, mm -hmm. but there is an important uh, element in this plan for, for transit uh, infrastructure and, and transit funding. If, if the, the, the plan that's being talked about at, at the legislature doesn't have an emphasis on transit, and, and so buses and dial -a ride and, and and uh, the streetcars, all of those things are really very much at risk if we are, are uh, if we can only go with the legislature's plan. That's why the legislature years ago created a, a, a program for us in Maricopa County to go at, that, that's been years in the making. Uh, Mesa and all of the other uh, 32 cities in, in MAG have been working on a regional transportation plan. Uh, there was a lot of compromise that went into that. There was, uh, but it ultimately we ended up with a, a unanimous vote with all the cities and towns and tribal communities in Maricopa County saying this is the right, right balance. Mm -hmm. That's the plan that we would love to get in front of voters. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's Maricopa County is the only county in the state that can't call its own election because we've got some some anti-transit zealots at the legislature that want to stay in. Uh, prevent that from happening. Yeah, so, uh, you know, before we get to the plan B here, what yeah. mayors may be looking at, uh, let's talk a little bit about what cities may be willing to get up, give up in order to make a deal with the legislature to get this to the ballot again. I mean, a lot of talk this past year, particularly from a uh, state senator from your neck of the woods, Steve Kaiser, has been talking about housing and zoning in cities. Is that something you would look at as like cities can give up some of their autonomy on zoning uh, for housing and affordable housing in order to get this transportation tax up to the voters. Well, cities and towns are the biggest advocates for affordable housing in, in the state. We, yeah. we are the ones that, that do that. And so we, we would welcome uh, 
uh, discussions with uh, Mr. Kaiser and others about uh, talking about what we are doing and what we, we can do together. We would love to get some legislation out of the state that, that uh, allocates more resources for affordable housing. That is an apples and oranges conversation. Well, it's, it's part of the horse trading that goes on down at the Capitol. You're well aware yeah, of that kind yeah. of thing. I'm just asking what kinds of things cities could yeah. bring, to, bring to the discussion in order to get what they want, which is to get that Prop 4, one, a 400 before yeah. the voters to extend it. Well, I, I think you're right. Politically, there, might, there may be some horse trading involved when it comes down to the budget and, and uh, the governor trying to get things out of the legislature. Uh, we would certainly ask her to, uh, to prioritize Prop 400. That, mm -hmm. uh, getting something out of the legislature is, is our plan A. That, that's very important. Uh, pursuing an alternative to that would be costly and time consuming. So, so we certainly are hoping that we can get something out of the legislature that we can get in front of the voters. Yeah, and is the governor, what is the conversation with the governor's office? How are, you, uh, how are those going for you? And do you think she's been active enough on this issue, forward facing, public on this issue up to this point? You know, I think a lot of the discussions on this are, are happening behind closed doors and that, that's appropriate. I, I've, I've heard that during this spring uh, recess that, <laughs> that we're having at the legislature right now that there's serious progress being made. So that, that's very encouraging. So uh, Governor Hobbs does understand this. I, mm -hmm. I and other mayors have, have talked directly with her about this, and, and I know that she understands the importance of, of Proposition 400 and getting it on the ballot. Now, um, other plan, other options in case this fails to get to the ballot, uh, or lawmakers fail to, fail to put it on the ballot, would include maybe an effort uh, to gather signatures for a statewide ballot initiative, but it would be a right. state. But, but but the drawback there would be it would be statewide for a Maricopa right. County only tax. Yeah. So you're looking at leaving you know the fate of one county up to the rest of the counties in Arizona as well. That, that that's true. That's not intuitive. That 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 seems like an odd way to do it, and it absolutely is. Yeah. So we would have to help uh, rural Arizona understand why it's important that they not compete against Maricopa County for highway dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the mayors that I know outside of Maricopa County, this is one of their top priorities as well. Because if if the Right now, the Maricopa County region taxes itself mm -hmm. to do a lot of the, the, the transportation infrastructure. If we have to compete against Yuma and Flagstaff and Tucson, that's a lose-lose for everyone. Yeah, and you know there is some anti-Maricopa County sentiment in the rural counties that I, when I have went, went and visited and spent time there, um, that could be a tough sell with them. And final, the final option might be to have some s certain cities and towns in Maricopa County work together on local issues. But that seems like a lot of moving pieces yeah. to coordinate, doesn't it? You know, we will uh, be innovative and we'll find a way to, this is too important not to happen, but our hope is that we can get something out of the legislature and get this in front of the voters where it belongs. All right, thank you very much, Mesa Mayor. Thank you very much for joining us here. And still